Hey guys, welcome back to Judo Highlights. Let's take a look at the new world champion at under 81, Cassie Mathias from Belgium. And he came in as the number one seed, number one in the world, and definitely proving that he deserves uh, that ranking here. And there were some people in the comments who said, you know, Cassie's boring, he doesn't do judo, uh, he does BJJ, um, just, you know, really kind of talking negatively about his, his judo style, but I think it's great, you know. Uh, how many judoka uh, don't turtle and they, you know, face uh, their opponent and look for submissions? Uh, I think that's really, really cool from Cassie. Um, he mixes in his attacks well, he strings them together uh, with his newaza. And um, the way he attacks is, uh, he, he never just drops down. Uh, he's always really good at making a, a decent attack, and uh, I think he's great. Uh, lots to learn from Cassie, I think a lot of people should take newaza more seriously and look at stringing their uh, attacks together. So look at this, he drops down for a seo inage, and then he's immediately on uh, an arm, kind of semi looking for a pin at the same time. Guess the Ipon there. But yeah, I definitely think in recent years, uh, Cassie has started adding tools to his Tachiwaza. He's not just the Nemoza specialist. Uh, he's got a great Sode, a great Ipon Seoinage, a really, really strong Ipon Seoinage, which we'll see in a minute. Here's an attempt here, but uh, Toth does well to roll out of it. Sorry about the laggy footage, guys. I think we might have to deal with this for the next couple of days, which is unfortunate. Here's a drop down Sode attempt. And he's just really good at staying active. He almost never gets a Shido against him. A Tayotoshi attempt here. And in Golden Score, as you see, no Shidos. And his opponents uh, got two. Looking for the Newaza here. That's a really nice hook around the leg, stopping his opponent from standing, looking for the rollover, but Toth does well to defend it. And here's that wonderful uh, Sode Surikomigoshi that he does, dropping down, and enough to score, a Wazari. And then he's into round four against the Brazilian. And this is one of his uh, quicker matches. Manages to dispatch of Santos pretty quickly. So he likes uh, double repels or as close to the chest as he can get. Here he is taking that high tricep grip. And a nice Tomoinage attempt. That's why he likes those close grips. He likes to pull people onto him. I would say Cassie has uh, Newaza strength, he's, he's really really strong and upper body, good at pulling people in, uh, maybe just lacks a little bit of speed but you know sometimes he can pull it out with his Sode and Ipon Seo Inage. And a big Ipon Seo Inage there. See what I mean, it's not the fastest in the world but it's really really strong and good drive. Right, this quarterfinal was interesting. So against Fujiwara from Japan, a real test for Cassie this one. And to be honest, the, the first part of the contest was, was not the most exciting in the world. Uh, Fujiwara was seeing everything that Cassie was trying to do. Definitely uh, Fujiwara has the, the higher level of Tachiwaza skill, I would say. Uh, definitely on the defense side anyway. But Cassie, he does a, a nice attempt here. Tomoenagi attempt, and then he latches straight onto that arm. And Fujiwara does really well to use his hips to kind of force his arm out. Uh, that's a really nice defense by Fujiwara. Anyway, golden score now, and this is when the action happens. So Cassie takes it to Fujiwara with several nice combinations. Nice Kataguruma attempt here. So they both have two Shidos to their name. Cassie has gone in for an attack, so you would expect Fujiwara to come forward. 
and go for something, but Kessie goes again. Sasai, Ochi, looks for a Sumigaishi. So now Fujiwara really has to attack. Or he's going to get another Shido to his name. He knows it too. But Cassie goes in for the bear hug. Tries to pick him up. Fujiwara does well to defend, but that's a really decent attack by Cassie. And uh, Fujiwara gets the Shido. So Cassie into the semi final. And he faces Boltabaev from Uzbekistan, who had a really good day as well. And uh, I was expecting Boltabaev to win the whole thing, to be honest, but Cassie manages to get a Wazari against Boltabayev in this contest. So left first right. Nice Katakuruma attempt by Boltabayev, but Cassie does well to try and counter it and then straight into the Newaza. I don't know how Boltabayev's Newaza is, to be honest. I'm sure he's good at defending, but uh, you don't see him go down there too often. So Cassie gripping first. Dealing with Boltabayev's lapel hand. Pulling it down. Goes in for something. I think it deserves a Shido there. No? Better attempt now and a Wazadi score. Lee Ponsero and I get immediately looking for the arm. And with Cassie, he sucks a, he's such a tactician. Uh, he knows how to a win a fight when he's up at Wazadi. Dropping in, looking uh, aggressive. Going for the Nehwazaru Kehane. Walter Vive was just waiting for the Mate. 20 seconds to go. It's not going to be enough. But Cassie, he still goes for it. I think this is uh, the proper way to, uh, to close out a match when you are up a Wazari. Some people just run away and get pushed out and they get Shido's immediately. You might as well go for it. If you see an opportunity, why not? Just go for it. So the final now, Cassie against Grigalashvili. And Grigalashvili, I definitely think he took it to Cassie in this one. Up until Golden Score, it was pretty much all Grigalashvili. Going in for big hip throws here. And a Tomoe Nage, which Grigalashvili likes to use as well, but Cassie defends well. And Cassie goes for a Sumigaishi here. But uh, Grigalash really trying to say, hey, uh, he just dropped down. Big hand over the back. And Grigalash really does really well here to just kind of elevate Cassie onto his hip. But Cassie defends with the elbow in. So that should be a Shido. And it is. And Grigalash really coming forward strong. And he tries that hip technique again. Surigoshi, I guess. Nice little replay here. It's an amazing technique, this one. How they do it, I do not know. And big arm on the tricep now. Cassie goes in for Seoenage, but I think he was just pushed out to the edge of the mat, to be honest. Goes for a, a Taiwatoshi, but nothing really happening. But this is good. He stands up. Deep hand on the tricep. So a nice Tomoenagi attempt. But Cassie defends well. Cassie's really good at defending. Really good at getting out of things. And now we're into golden score. And Grigalashvili almost gets the, the foot sweep counter there. With the Kochi. Breaks the grip off. Arm over the top. And Cassie's got two hands on him now. Defends well. And this is it, guys. This is the end. The, the final moment that decides the world champion at 81. 
And Grigalashvili, he he makes a crucial mistake here. Thinks he's going for a counter, but uh, in actuality, it uh, was not a counter. Sorry, it's just after this one here. So I think in any circumstance, you just shouldn't land on your back, whether you're going for a counter or not. And Cassie knows this. He's like a cat, always lands on his feet. So Grigalashvili over the top. Cassie goes in. And then Grigalashvili says he's going for a counter, but no. Cassie, that was all Cassie. He started the movement. His pawn, And he's now our world champion. Alright guys, so like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys for more action on day 5.